Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? That is the first thing. I'm using a wireless mic. Um, I'm trying to stay out of the wind because it's really, really windy. Let's wait for a few people to join. And I want to show you around this place, which is amazing. Uh, so I am at Gridsurf in Norwich. Uh, if I just pan the camera around a little bit, you should be able to see it just there. And this is Gridserve's second electric highway. Um, it's just ram full of EVs, actually. That one there, is that it there? There, it looks like an MG. That's, uh, that's also an electric vehicle. Uh, so let me just turn the camera around for you. And that's it just there. So these are all 350 kilowatt chargers. Um, can someone just tell me if you can hear me okay or is it just being drowned out by the wind? That'd be really helpful. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, just there, I think. Um, can hear you fine, excellent. Um, you've got AC units over there. I can't remember how many they've got, but um, for people who just need a slower charge, if we go upstairs, M&S, Costa, really nice seating area over there and the view looking out that way is actually quite spectacular. Looks not unlike the layout for upcoming Gatwick site. I think there's, looking at this, there's some kind of modular thing going on and I think going forward they're going to employ this technique for future builds just to speed up the operation. Also it's all under cover so you can keep nice and dry, they're all well lit. Um, I'm going to walk all the way around for you guys so you can see it, um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular and it's, it's, it's what you expect from Gridserve and what they're trying to do. Um, you can see my MG there, uh, it's actually fully charged, unplugged and I've left it in a bay which is really not good skills, but there is so many bays and nobody is waiting. Um, if you just have a little nose up there, you've got a seating area, there's Wi-Fi, um, lots of really good stuff. There's a Porsche taken up there as well and uh, you can look at their leasing deals they do. Um, it closes at 9pm, so accessibility upstairs uh, is, is all day until 9pm, but charging is 24 hours. Uh, if we come to the end there, you'll see uh, James Cook. Um, and he has been charging his Tesla. So you've got eight Tesla charging bays as well. Uh, the, just to give you an idea of the geography, one-way system all the way around, the Tesla are at the bottom. If you look at that big fence over there, um, you've got 6.6 .6 megawatt hours of battery storage. Although apparently there's no batteries in there just at the moment, they're, uh, they're coming. Um, and there is um, 50 kilowatt P on the roof of solar, which I can't show you, but it is definitely there. Um, let's have a read. Is there a solar park nearby? There is a solar park nearby, but it's nothing to do with them. I asked that question earlier. Um, let's keep the place in shot so you can see it. Um, yeah, there's a solar park nearby, but it is nothing to do with GridServe. Although they have told me they've got lots of solar parks all around, which are just piling into the grid, especially on the day like today. So let's give you a little view from here. So Tesla chargers. And that's the back end. They're doing a little bit of a tour, so I'm a bit reluctant to go over there at the moment. Let's have a wander around anyway, try and stay out of the way. Um, this is an interesting bit here actually. Um, during the tour they said that they're putting a bay there for commercial vehicles so as uh, HGVs become electrified they're going to put something in there so at the moment it's just abandoned cars but going forward that will be an EV charger for commercial vehicles so probably some really high power thing. They have future proofed it as well for um, uh, becoming even more powerful but at the moment 350 kilowatts is more than any car can take uh, we did have a, a take and a push take and charging at 200 and there were 42 i think it was it was edmund kings actually the president of the aa so let's take a walk around I'm sorry about the wind so this is the other side and then see it's pretty much the same all undercover um, 
Uh, sorry, there's another question. I hope they save space for the Neo battery swap station. I'm not so sure about battery swaps, you know. I've not needed a battery swap for a long time. In fact, I haven't needed one ever. Um, and then if you look there, the bay they're actually in is um, an accessible bay. It is huge. So you could get an EV in there, you could get out if you were disabled, walk around, no problems with space air whatsoever. It's also one of the units that's got Chadamo and CCS on it. There's six Chadamos all together, one of them being that. So whichever EV you're in, you're going to be able to charge. Um, I mean, you could probably get two EVs in there, realistically, side by side. Um, but because it's an accessible bay, you could just abandon your car in the middle and you've got loads of room around the vehicle. So that's good. Um, so let's wander up this side. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, now I spoke to um, Sam Clark and Toddington Harper this morning about going forward, what, what they've got in plan. So, you know, there's a hundred of these that uh, are planned to be built. Um, but uh, I asked him about overstay fees, which was uh, a problem that I've come across. Um, there's another accessible bay, actually. I didn't realize there was two. I thought there was only one. So there's another one there, which is good. Um, and overstay fees are something they're definitely looking at. Um, but also the app. I'm quite keen on having an app for, from a company perspective. It's, uh, it certainly makes billing a lot easier. I'm really sorry about the wind. I'm trying to drown it out with my hand. Um, loads of EVs around up there. Um, and there's the AC charging, which I'll just come up here and pan around. So I think these are, I'm going to say 22. I'm just taking a bit of a guess. Look at that. How amazing is that? That is beautiful. Any Chadamo Betamax charges for I'm even leave cars? Yeah, there's six Chadamos here. That car is lovely. That is really something. I wouldn't want to think about the price, but beautiful. Uh, so yeah, you've got one, two, three, four, um, seven or 22 kilowatt i'm going to say and then that's brought us right back round to almost the beginning where we started oh no there's another one just there as well so we've got six of those and that's the back so if you imagine coming in here on a really really busy day and there's nowhere to charge i would say it's going to be well very unlikely for a start but I suspect that if you were waiting, you would literally be waiting a couple of minutes because there is just so many charges here. But this is really, really impressive. Really impressive. Just think back 10 years ago when there was one Ecotricity charger in the services tucked away in a corner. And now this is what we're looking at. And this is the second one of 100, uh, 100 plus, um, as well as the hubs that are rolling out. I mean, look at rugby. This isn't what rugby's got, but rugby has got a lot of high power chargers. So things are looking good. So I just thought I'd give you a quick wander around, quick look at it, folks, and a little update. The MG looks pretty ideal candidate for an EV conversion. The MG, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the MG just up there. Yeah, sorry, it took me a minute to get my marbles. But yeah, it's looking, it's looking really, really good for EVs and really, really pleased with the, this sort of things coming along and, and we're, getting, we're getting more charges because it's what we need. So, hope you're happy with that, folks. It's only a short one. Um, I'll try and answer your questions when uh, the video is processed. Uh, but if you can, fly past and visit this just on the outskirts of Norwich and fantastic. All right, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. All the best.